Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, we will see how to design an online grocery shop. And we are going to use a completely free theme to design this online grocery shop. Here is an example of the website that we are going to build. You will see all the products here. And you will see the categories also. Now, let's try to add to the cart. And you will see that the product has been added to the cart. The currency of the current website is in rupees. You can change the currency also. Let's add one more product. And you will see the product in the shopping cart. Let's check out. Here you will see the checkout form. The customer will be able to add their details. And here is an option cash on delivery. They will be able to pay when you deliver the product to their address and we can also add many more payment gateways so people will be able to buy online also using paypal stripe if you are from india they will be able to use upi or qr codes now let's go back to the home page now as i said we will be using a free theme however i'll show you how to add a pro plugin to this website and you will be able to customize many features of this website and make it completely different than this look right now we are using the demo content and you will be able to add your own content you will be able to change the colors and the layout of this website so we are going to see both the options the free theme as well as the paid pro plugin and definitely you will be able to design an online grocery shop using this free theme so let's start with the installation so i'm logged into the dashboard of a wordpress website you can see that this is the completely new installation of the wordpress website and it is using the default wordpress theme and the plugins so you can see that this is using uh, the default 2022 wordpress theme it's a free theme that comes with the installation of the website of the wordpress and you will see all the plugins that are installed by default when I install the WordPress. So let me deactivate and delete all the plugins that are already installed on this WordPress website. So all the plugins are deactivated. Now I'm going to delete all of them. So we are going to start from the zero. We are going to delete all the plugins and we are going to install a new WordPress theme. Okay, so here is the appearance. These are the all themes. Now, here is the website from where we are going to install the new theme, the WordPress theme for grocery website. I'll give you the link in the description box. You, you can click on that link and you can download the theme from this uh, website. So this is the best theme that I have found for the grocery website. Now let's scroll down to this website and here you will see the PH shop mania. Okay, so this is the theme that you are going to download. So here you will see the option free download, click on free download. And here is the option to download the free theme. So you can click on save and it will download the theme files on your computer. Okay, so I already have it downloaded on my computer. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, go to appearance, then go to themes. And here you will see the option add new, click on add new. Now click on upload theme and click on browse browse the theme that we have downloaded the shop ph shop mania and click on open now click on install now okay now click on activate now it says welcome to ph shop mania this is the version get started with ph shop mania Okay, so now it says there is a new version so click on update now let me update the theme okay now click on this one okay now it says that these are the recommended plugins so click on it now here you will see the options these are the plugins that are required for this website for this theme okay here is the option to import the demo and this is the help so let's go to the recommended plugin click on install now so we are going to install all the plugins one by one
Okay, now let's go to demo import. Click on install the starter site plugin mentioned below to activate the import demo button. So let's click on this. Okay, now it says that upgrade to Pro. So these are the Pro themes. Uh, you will see many options here. So you can select any one of them. I'm going to use this one, Grocery. Okay, so this is the website that we are going to build. So now here you will see that these plugins are required to be installed so click on install now elementor is the page builder plugin so we are going to install the elementor also all right now click on import this site all the plugins have been installed now click on import this site so these are the recommendations Okay, so click on OK. Now it is getting site information. Now it is importing the demo content. All right, so it says that the demo has been imported and you can see that done view site. So click on view site. Now let's refresh it. Now here you will see the complete website has been imported on your new installation. So let's see, click on this option and you will see the product is also added here. Let me try to add to the cart. All right, so you can see the product has been added to the cart. Click on view cart. All right, and you will see the cart is also there. Proceed to checkout. Okay, you can see the checkout page is also there. There are some settings that we will need to do on WooCommerce site so that we can sell the products online. And here you will see all categories. Products have been listed. So you can select one of the categories and you will see the products under that category. Okay, now let's go back to the dashboard again. Let's close this one. And let's go back to the dashboard. So this is the logo that we have it. Okay, now it says that the website name is still my blog so let's go back to the dashboard and now we are going to customize the website so here you will see all the options theme hunk is the theme that we have installed see these are the options here now let's go to the appearance and then go to customize okay now here are some features that you need to unlock using the pro okay now you can see that the header image is there okay the current header is there and these are all the settings now let's see how we can change the name so here go to site identity this is the logo that I'm going to replace now I'm going to use one of the logo you can use your logo and click select okay let's click on skip cropping okay you will see the new logo here now and this is the name of the site so let's say the website name will be Param grocery and it will be the tagline will be online grocery shop okay if you want to display the title it will display the title and tagline and uh, this is the site icon okay let's click on publish now let's go back let's see what are the options can we change here okay so this is a theme color this is the background color so let's change the background color so let's see how does this look so this is how it will look let me try another color so 
So this is how you can change the background color. We will go through all the settings of this website step by step. This is the menu. This is the main menu. Okay, you will see it here. Home, shop, vegetables. These are the, I guess, the categories of the products. These are the widgets. Now, this one is the footer widget. You will see it here. This is the footer first column. Here is the image. We can replace this image with a new one. And this is the title. This is the information. You can change it from here. This is the text. Let's add. Okay. Now these are the two icons. You can see them here. These are the two icons. These are the icons to download the app. If you have any, if you want to delete, you can simply remove and this option has been gone if you want to add you can click on add a widget and from here select the widget that you want to add to the footer there are many widgets that you can use now this is the second footer widget area you will see it here and it shows the products the list of products you can change the settings from here let's see if you want to show three products you can show three products here and these are the featured product this is actually the category of the product date and order you can make changes here and it will reflect here now this is the third widget area this one and it shows product categories so all the categories will be listed here and this is the footer edge widget area 4 that will be the contact details of your online shop so you can change the contact details from here you can add your address your phone number your email address all that you can change from here okay so these are the four columns all right so let's publish it and we will see other settings also now let's refresh it now here you will see the new logo the new name of the and the tagline is also there and you will see the changes that we made here the logo is here and other details are also here this is the bottom copyright this is the footer copyright you can change it from here so you can add your website name here or your shop name and you will see it here so let's publish it now close this option and we will go back to the dashboard okay now these are the features of the pro I'll show you how the pro version also works Okay, now let's go back to the website and here you we need to go to the WooCommerce you're setting up the online store so you need to set up your payment system as well as you will need to set up your uh, WooCommerce plugin so let's go to WooCommerce and go to settings WooCommerce is the plugin that will help you sell products online it will help you add products it will also help you to set up payment gateways on your website so that when someone purchases from your website they will need to pay and for that you need to set up a payment gateway on your website so WooCommerce will help you set up payment gateway on your website so there are many types of payment gateways that you can install on your website I have separate videos on how to set up these payment gateways like PayPal a UPI if you are from India you can set up UPI QR code and you can also try stripe payment gateway as well as there are many different payment gateways so i have separate videos on all these payment gateways you can watch my other videos okay now we are on the settings page of the woocommerce and this is the address line so you need to set up all these things so enter the address line address line to city your country the zip code and which countries you are selling your product so basically it is a grocery product so 
definitely you are saying to your country only so it will be your country only okay here you can select sell to specific countries and then enter india so i am selling to india only and ship, shipping locations you can make the changes i have separate videos on that also whatever taxes now this is the currency now if you are from united states you can set the currency to a dollar i am from india so i'll set the currency to inr indian rupees so the currency will be indian rupee so you can set up your currency of the website from here okay let's save the changes so on this page i have changed the currency only and you need to set up your other details here now the products so here you don't need to make any changes shipping now whatever shipping charges you want to add you can do it from here we have separate videos on shipping also now this is the payment gateway here you can set up the payment gateways right now it has woocommerce payments that is by default direct transfer check payment cash on delivery these are the payment options you can enable cash on delivery and people will be able to pay when you deliver the item to their delivery location okay now if you want to add more you can add more payment gateways here you will see other list of the payment gateways that you can add stripe amazon pay paypal payments i have a separate video on paypal payments also so you can check out the other videos on how to set up the payment gateways on your WooCommerce website. Okay, now let's go back to the, let's save the changes here. Okay, these are the accounts and privacy. So I have the separate videos on all these options. So let's go back to the website and refresh the page. Now you will see that the currency has been changed to rupees. Okay, so let's go to the Let's add this one and these are the two products go to checkout okay now here you will see the option for d2 and here is the option that you have enabled cash on delivery option has been added to your payment gateway so people will be able to buy and pay it later when you deliver the products so now right now it does not look good because we have changed the background color now let's see how we can add or remove or edit the products so here you will see the option products now you can see that all the products here you will see 33 products have been already added to your website so these are the demo products you will need to add your own products okay now here you will see different categories are also added so let's see if we are going to edit one of the product so this is the first one so click on edit okay now here you will see the product the demo product is here how does this look on the actual website so this is how it will look let me change the background color it does not look good so go back to the appearance then customize go to colors global colors change this to white again can publish it now let's refresh it okay so the default color looks good to me now this green color I'm going to change to blue so let's change it to blue and publish it so we are going to change the default green color to blue now you can change it to whatever color you want to match the logo of your website so this is how the product looks now this information here you will see this information here this is the information added here and this is the category these are all categories right now it is set to pet care if you want to add more categories you can add, click on add new and you can add new category here let's say I'm going to add stationary enter and it will get added so let's uncheck it 
okay so we have added new category that is a stationary and this is the price of the product okay this is the product okay and this is the price of the product if you want to change or let's say this is the regular price and you want to sell it to 40 rupees so there will be discount of some uh, 20 rupees so you can make it 40 here okay now let's say inventory now if here you can set up the inventory of the product in stock if you want to manage stock you can check it here and let's say you have 10 quantities only so enter 10 quantities so you have 10 quantities of this product okay I do have separate video on how to add a new product a simple product as well as variable products in WooCommerce you can watch those videos also okay shipping now this will be the weight let's say this one is gram so let's say it is in kg so let's say 0. 0. 0.5 kg okay dimension if you want to mention you can mention otherwise leave it as it is link product no not required advance is not required okay now this is the short description you will see the short description here okay let's say now this is the product the image so if you want to add you can click on it and you will be able to browse the product image so you can browse and upload the product here if you want to remove you can remove it from here if you want to add more product images you can click on add product gallery images so it will show more than one image okay no sidebar if you want to add sidebar you can select right sidebar okay now these are the options for this particular page layout the title main header bottom so if you want to disable any one of them you can check this box and it will disable it okay let's see let's update this product and let's see what the changes we have made Okay, now let's refresh it now here you will see that the price of the product the regular price of this product is 60 and we have it changed to 40 so it is now at 40 rupees now you will see it in stock okay you can add more quantities here I won't be able to buy more than 10 because in stock there are only 10 products available 10 quantities of this product available okay if you want to add to wish list you can click on it okay now share this option is bare by default there this is the description additional information that is the weight of this product okay reviews if there is any review it will show it here so this is how you can edit the product okay now let's see let's go back to the all products now if you want to add new product you can simply click on this option add new here enter the name of the product here enter the description select the category it will be a simple product this is the regular price then sell price if you have to man if you want to manage inventory you can manage from here add the number of products quantity then let's add the product image from here okay and after that type in a short description of the product which will show at the top and once you add the product click on publish do not forget to select this category of the product okay now let's see how we can customize the menu at the top this is the menu that we are going to change now here you will see the option right now there are two menus so this is home this is the page shop so let's remove this and save now let's refresh it okay you will see that the shop page has been removed okay now i'm going to install the pro plugin the th shop mania pro plugin so i already have that plugin and i'm going to install it on this website and we are going to unlock some of the pro features of this uh, website okay so let's go to the plugin and go to add new now click on upload plugin so this is a pro plugin that i'm going to install and you need to buy it from website i'll give you the link in the description box 
and the price is not too high it is $59 however you will get many features when you install this plugin so click on browse browse the pro plugin and click on install now click on activate plugin all right so we have got the pro plugin installed on the website and now we will get more options to customize online shop so you will definitely get more options than the free version of this shop mania theme go to the appearance and then go to customize now you will see the option here layout so in the free version we did not have this option to customize the layout of the website and there you will see many other options here you will see global colors different options link color link hover color so text color is also there so whatever small changes you see small colors you see you can change from here this is the header you can see the customization of the header is also available this is the header you will see the background color text color everything is there okay so you will get many features added when you buy the pro plugin of this theme no doubt the website without pro plugin is also good you will be able to add products and you will be able to sell online using woocommerce and this free theme however you will not get all the customization options to your website so if you want to modify the default layout of the imported template then you can go for the pro plugin you will get many features to customize the complete website and you will make it completely different than the imported demo content okay you can see the header below the header all these color options are here now okay after that you will see footer options above the footer this is the footer you see these are the colors of the footer footer widget okay bottom footer so you can make changes let's see background color let's change it to red and you will see the change here but let's change it to blue and the text color here let's change it to white you will see the changes here okay so this is how you can customize the layout of the website using the pro plugin of this website you can see the product border color so you can make many changes to the layout of your website so you can play with the settings of this pro feature let's go to the layout this is the header layout okay above header you will see this top padding padding is nothing but the distance you can change the padding here okay bottom padding so there will be some specific space adjustment using this padding okay main header section this is the layout now you can change the layout of the main header section also earlier you didn't have this option okay with the free plugin with the free theme now when you buy the pro plugin you will get all the option to customize your website here you will see the logo then this is the search and these are the options from the cart and this is the categories you will see it here and this is the menu so this is the current layout if i change it you can see the changes here logo here we are going to add the telephone number okay here the telephone number will be added okay let's see here go down and these are the options for the header whatever kind of header you want you can add it here okay you will see it here now when i add the call to header options you will see the number that you can add if you want to delete you can delete this one also and keep the number only you will see the changes here okay so this is how you can make changes to the header section of your website now let's see below the header this is the padding for the header transparent header and page header enable page header okay so you can play with the settings sidebar here you will see sidebar this is the sticky sidebar 
so there will be a sidebar which will stay there on the right or left side of your website this is the footer section above footer nothing nothing is selected if you want to add something above the footer you can select one of these options widget footers so we have got four column widget here you will see one two three four this is the one selected these are the padding settings this is below the footer you will see this option selected which is a copyright that we have added here if you want to change you can select any one of them if you do not want you can simply check this option fixed footer if I enable the footer will be fixed and that simply doesn't look good okay so let's uncheck it okay, now the container is nothing but the main container of your website move to top this is the button there should be one button right and the background color let's change to blue icon color white and enable it now here you will see the option move to top so when you click on it it will go top when someone scrolls down they need to go back to the top then they can click on this option and it will go to the top of the website okay so this is how you can add move to top okay now let's see the site identity is here now here are many options for the color social icons now here you will see the Facebook LinkedIn so you can say show original color and here you can add the links to your social media accounts okay you need to put this on somewhere okay preloader this is the preloader of your website if you enable it it will there will be a preloader when you when your website is opening so this is the kind of preloader now this is the menus option main menu now if you want to make it sticky you can check this option and the menu will stick at the top so people will be able to see the menu at the top now if you want to see how does this look on mobile you can say select this option and this is how it will show on the mobile this is the main menu and this is the categories menu This is, these are the widget section so we have gone through that home page setting the home page is set to home now let me show you the pages added to the website so let's go back to the dashboard so when you install this theme and when you import the demo content it will also import all the pages on your website that are in the demo so you can edit the pages from here so you can see the imported demo pages now here is the home page now if you want to edit it you can simply edit with elementor so we are using elementor page builder to edit this website you will see how this home page looks now here you will see the home page now these are the different sections of the home page now we can edit this section using the elementor so this is the section the first section if you select this section you will see the settings of this section the background color is here if you want you can change it so basically this is the elementor that you are going to use on this website to make changes to the website okay so these are all icons you can make changes here this is very simple elementor is very simple to use you can play with the settings and you will be able to make changes to your website if you want to delete this section you can simply delete if you want to duplicate it you can simply duplicate you will see it here so i do have videos on how to use the elementor how to create website using elementor so you can see this section is nothing but the products products so it will show automatically on the website 
okay now this is section you can make changes from here so you you simply need to click on this section and you will see the options to change here here you can change the message this is the shop now button this is the categories button you will see categories here choose image products okay now these are the dairy products so you need to select the categories if you want to add category you can select from here let's add beverages also so this number of products will be 10 so you will see 5 plus 5 products here here you can change if you want to delete this section you can simply click on it and delete now let's update it and let's see how does this look we have deleted one section so you will see the changes here and you see that section has been deleted from here let's re publish these changes and refresh it you will see the go to top button also that we created this is the preloader and here you will see the go to top now let's go to contact us this is the preloader and you will see the contact us page here and this is the sidebar actually you will see the sidebar here now if you want to delete a section from here now let's go to the appearance and then go to widgets and this is the primary sidebar search box this is the recent post let me delete this one and this is the recent comment so let me delete this one also and now let's refresh it now here you will see the recent post and comments have been deleted let me delete the archive also okay the archive have been deleted now let's see how we can edit this page so go to edit page okay so this is the contact form that they have added now let me do one thing let me change this to no sidebar okay and we are going to edit this page using the elementor so select elementor full width and click on update and click on edit with elementor Okay, you will see the contact form here so let's delete this form okay now let's add a new section here let me show you how does this work let's have some padding here and in this middle section I'm going to use a form this is the form they have it and select the form contact us so this form came with the default free theme okay now update it and let's see how does this look okay so this is how it will look when we edit it using the elementor okay now let's go back to the dashboard then go to pages so these are the different pages that we can edit that we have got with this theme let's see post this is the blog post so these are the default blog post if you want to add blog post you can simply click here add new and add new blog post now let me show you all the products again so from here you can add products to the website if you want to edit the current product you can simply click on edit and edit product these are all theme settings you can go to theme compare so this is the comparison button this is the pop-up builder you can create pop-up builder on the website also this is the advanced search product search it will show the product search So this is the cart you can see the cart option is here so when you add to the cart it will show it here so this one is a good feature so this is how you can 
build the online grocery website with the free theme. Free theme is good enough to start with the website, to start with your e-commerce website. Now, if you want to modify the demo content, if you want to modify the demo layout, or if you want to customize the colors of the website, you can definitely go to the pro plugin of this website and the price is not at the higher side. You're getting a theme as well as the pro plugin at only $59. This is the single lifetime usage, access to the theme, unlimited domain usage. And the other thing is that you can import any demo. It's not just the grocery website. You can see other website. You, websites are available for pro. You will be able to install using this pro plugin. Yeah, so all the websites you will be able to use when you buy the pro plugin. So what I think in $59, you will be able to design many different kinds of website. So this is the grocery website in the upcoming videos. I'll show you how to build other website using this pro plugin. If you're new to my YouTube channel, then do subscribe to the channel and get the notification on the upcoming videos about search engine optimization, website design, WooCommerce, Elementor, and many other quick tips. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.